this is uh, Shashwat here and uh, Pradeep here who will be uh, interviewing the students of uh, SIH uh, 2022 winners. So, uh, right now we are in uh, BMS IT and the team uh, we have today is uh, Code 18. So, Code 18 team, uh, could you please uh, introduce yourselves? Myself, Lokesh, I am the team leader of uh, Code 18. Uh, today we are here with our team. This is Jitendra Yadip, Murli Manohar Aigade, Monish, Prerna and Pranav. We all are from ISC second year, BMS IT and uh, okay, so team Code 18, could you like uh, explain about your project, like how did you go on and uh, anything related to it? Actually, our problem statement is uh, based on uh, government schools. Uh, the problem statement goes like bringing the power of AML for the aid of teachers in classroom. Actually, in uh, government schools, the teachers won't be having facilities of laptop, computer schools as uh, the facilities there in private schools. So what we are trying to do is we are building an added application, which is helps them to convert all the handwritten data, physical data to soft copy. They no need to enter any details manually. They will just take a photo of the handwritten copy and then it will the app will convert the handwritten text into soft copy. Uh, like automatically, no need to enter the data manually. Okay, uh, that was a really cool idea. So where do you guys uh, find the inspiration to do this? Like you would have started off with something like uh, PBL or anything like that. No? So if you could just tell about that. So this project was same as our PBL project, which happens in our IAC department for the year 2022. So we took the same project and we were selected for the open day. And the judges which came on the open day gave us gave us the good uh, response to this project. So we thought we can take it forward and we can go for the SIH uh, with this problem statement. So could you like uh, tell us your uh, journey till the nodal center, like where your nodal center was, how you guys prepared for the project and uh, what sort of uh, software or uh, hardware implementations you have done? Uh, Jenny actually started in the month of April, I guess. Like Lokesh came up with the idea that we'd be participating in SIH. And now uh, we suddenly made up the team. And then the same project was taken to PBL as uh, Chitendra Deep said. And there they actually won second prize. So they got inputs uh, from there also. But at that point of time, it was not sh shortlisted for SIH. Mm. Then we took the same project for Srishti, which is a state level project. And there also like there were around 400 teams. We got inputs from various teachers and all. Then again, after uh, one week after Srishti, I guess we got a message from SIH that your team is uh, sh shortlisted for Tamil Nadu. Yeah. Uh, it's taking place in Tamil Nadu and we got excited. Uh, then yeah, and then the journey started. Then uh, same project, I guess it was also taken to Anveshana for funding, I guess. And uh, it was, it happened good there also. Yeah, and then uh, a journey started to Tamil Nadu and we had a train journey. It was a fantastic journey. Can you like uh, brief us about the softwares and hardwares which you have used? Project was based on an Android application and we thought that we could also scale it to iOS and other applications. So we are using Flutter so that uh, platform independence can be there. So we used Flutter along with that we used uh, Firebase ML Kit and for uh, that uh, we used OCR uh, and OMR technology in that and ML Base, uh, Google Firebase ML Kit has, has already been trained uh, with some large data set so that accuracy there is large. So we used that uh, database only and uh, along with that we used Firebase only for the database. So whatever the inputs that were given by the judges like let's say attendance is there uh, maybe dress distribution is there, uniform distribution and then other things like midday meal and all that are all in there in uh, some government schools. That data was updated into the Firebase ML uh, database and then from there only we were getting the uh, inputs back and also, uh, also included some Excel uh, dependencies so that the data that we are getting can be generated as Excel file and teachers also don't need to do the manual work like calculation and all the things like uh, mark sheet and all was also generated using the same app so it was an overall app using that you can uh, manage the whole school it was that our, was our thinking we added uh, excel dependencies also there so that the data that we have entered can directly be generated as an excel seal also the teachers don't need to do the manual calculations that calculations will automatically be generated using the same excel sheet and using the data in the database, you can also generate the mark sheet for the students. And we were also working on uh, things like uh, SMS alerts and all. But uh, as we told that it was a 36 hour hackathon, so the time was a bit of constraints. All uh, right. So that was a really cool idea. So you told you integrated your ML kit uh, inside Flutter and then you made an app out of it. So what was the struggle while developing the project and how did you overcome the challenges? The project had already started in April. Uh, so uh, let me talk about the foreground struggles on ground which we faced on the hackathon day. So it was 36 hours hackathon. Uh, starting uh, for 4 hours, we, I think we coded uh, according to what we had thought initially. 
during the previous night and also on that day. So, and then uh, there were three rounds of mentoring. Uh, the first round of mentoring, they came, they just uh, asked, our, uh, asked about our uh, approach to the uh, problem statement. We explained them all in detail. Uh, they gave a few inputs like uh, we need to maintain few uh, separate, uh, what is that, ledgers for uh, all uh, categories, midday meals, schooling and all. So, we implemented that in uh, the first round of evaluation. Uh, we were focusing on marks basically for, at first. So, they uh, asked whether if we could implement all four domains at once. And they were really shocked by hearing that we could actually. Uh, towards the end of our uh, uh, first evaluation round, they were pretty uh, satisfied with our, with our work. In then uh, the second mentoring round, they came and gave a few inputs like we have to maintain separate template and uh, you know clarity should be there in the templates which we give out. Uh, all different templates should be there. So our work was to implement different uh, templates for all these things. That was happening in the second round of evaluation. Also in the second round of evaluation when uh, we were showing our prototype, uh, there, there came a serious error actually, the app didn't run. Uh, they were actually, actually, they, they actually supported us and motivated us actually to, you know, go further with it. Uh, when, when we got to know about the error, we tried uh, different methods of solving it. We all uh, scratched our heads for, you know, few, th three, four hours, I think. Yeah, we again built the prototype from scratch, you know, but then the error, we got to know what the error was and then we resolved it instantly. So when they came for the third round of mentoring, the er error was gone and they were actually quite delighted that uh, we actually got an uh, on-ground error and we solved it immediately. So that also, you know, uh, boosted our uh, winning chances. In fact, turned out turned out to be our advantage. Then came uh, the third round of evaluation, as I said. Uh, this was the final round of evaluation, which they said. They told this will be the final round and all our prototype, all whatever, whatever we have done, we had to present it on at that moment, at that point of what, four, five minutes uh, over the last three months and also the major 36 hours that we spent there. So uh, all, all said and done, we had uh, done the implementation, we, had, we gave our presentation, we gave our project idea. We also told about the surveys that we did. Uh, they were quite impressed with it and then they wrote the remarks and then they uh, went away. This was the foreground struggles. The background struggles which we faced uh, leading up to the project was, you know, writing internals. This inst internals, we had to write uh, three subjects a day for two days. So, college had actually supported us for that. Then uh, actually, you know, booking train tickets and then deciding up to the journey, uh, making our schedule up and towards there. And then we had our externals the very next week. So, uh, you know, leading up to this was all tough. Then uh, these these guys uh, had actually taken up the project to even Sri Sri State, State project. Even there, the, the struggles were real actually. Three days, uh, we had spent it on ground there to, you know, exhibit our project to uh, different people across the state. So, yeah, the struggles were all real. <laughs> That's what I would tell. So, as you guys have won a cash prize of 50,000, so what are your future plans with this cash prize and with the a project basically? And um, tell us something about your mentors and how were they helpful in the project? Uh, definitely in this project, our mentors played a very important role, uh, especially our internal mentor, uh, Mr. Girish Babu CN. He is a, a, a college uh, professor and he is one of those uh, mentors who had always uh, supported the project from the beginning and has seen the growth and the uh, because of his inputs, a lot of changes had been made and this project was taken to a, a level which, uh, you know, uh, became the winner of the SIH. Also, um, on the uh, the hackathon day the external mentors also gave a lot of inputs on that very day so we had to implement those inputs uh, and uh, because of that the project also got selected because th those uh, inputs were implemented that very day on that very moment with the errors coming and they were seeing and they were uh, you know mentoring us, us that very day. so the external mentors also were, a, a, were of great support and gave great inputs to, uh, to the project which uh, took it to the next level so definitely this project uh, would be taken ahead in a uh, much better and a bigger way and uh, we, we wish this project will uh, show its uh, outcome in the near future with its real-time application. Now talking about the future enhancements, Hello. so uh, so basically as we know about the problem statement, it is a real problem statement like it is all uh, it has been faced by the uh, teachers and professors in the rural areas they don't have high-end devices they just, uh, they just have a smartphone so basically from our app they will just uh, click a picture and uh, all the information will be digitalized so basically uh, we would like the higher officials which gave us this problem statement 
to take this project or problems like whatever solution we gave to, uh, to a further level by giving us clients like some real time school where we can implement this project further and we can take and we can scale up uh, scale it up higher to a greater india level so what are the future suggestions uh, for a future participants of sih or for that matter any competition from your perspective what would you suggest them to focus on more Okay, my main suggestion would be uh, for the juniors to stick to the problem statement, whatever happens, don't deviate from it. There were other teams uh, which had used more advanced technologies for the same problem statement, but the main problem statement, the core of it was, it should be uh, usable by the government schools. It, uh, like, it should just use the basic communities that they can also uh, use. But uh, So we stick, uh, stick to the problem statement, explain the committee there that what the problem statement was and we, uh, that we implemented whatever uh, required uh, thing was. And the other teams, why they got uh, diselected mainly was that they didn't uh, stick to the core requirements of the problem statement itself. So this would be my main suggestion to them. Uh, really good uh, outcome. So we wish you all the best for your uh, further upcomings or whatever developments you're uh, doing. And uh, this is Shashwat signing off. Thank you. <laughs>